I always knew that I was different from a young age. I never quite fit in like other people did. I never quite settled into a group like other people did. I kind of lived in my own world for a good bit of my childhood. There was always that inkling in the back of my head that I was different from other people. So what, that I, no matter what I did, I couldn't be them. I couldn't be like them. There was always this issue I had as a kid between bullying and just comments said in the middle of conversations, just the use of the word gay or whatever as an insult, as something to be ashamed of that was always prevalent in my own life. I grew up in a house with a single mother and a brother and a sister. Um, my mother is a fashion designer, so there was always you know, magazines with just some of the most beautiful people. It's like always displaying such confidence and pride in themselves. And it's just, it was always something I kind of looked at and I was like, I wish that could be me. I wish I could look that happy in myself. When it came to <clears throat> maybe the age of 16 or 17, I was starting to think about where I wanted to go in life, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be. And I couldn't see myself at a desk job. I, cu I couldn't do a nine to five. I always knew that I wanted to be something else. I wanted to do something creative. I wanted to be something. I wanted to make something, something that mattered to me and other people. So I initially thought that that was going to be graphic design and in preparing for that, I found photography as a means to an end when I couldn't quite draw out my ideas. I was able to capture them, but um, the use of a camera just kind of crept into my practice even more and more as it just went on. And I just started to find myself through that viewfinder. I saw myself through a lens of everything that I was taking. When it came to being on the street and just capturing people, I, was, I just noticed that I started taking more of an even mix between men and women and I just didn't know why I was. I didn't know if I was like liking how they dressed because of the fashion background or if I just found myself attracted to them. So it was when I just kind of had to bite the bullet and be like, you're bi. You always have been, and that's not a bad thing. You just need to keep it to yourself for a little while. You need to hide that part of yourself until you're somewhere safe, until you're somewhere where it's okay to say, I'm not stereotypical, I'm not heteronormative stereotype. I'm a person that can't fit into that mold.